checking out the life in everyone, Subaru. Uh, uh. Subaru? Hey, what's wrong? <laughs> Subaru! Right. Everything's okay. I'm right here, Subaru. You don't have to worry. <clears throat> Sorry, I just got a little dizzy. That didn't look like something so minor. If something's wrong, please tell me. No, it's fine. I get dizzy like this sometimes. It happened before, remember? That's right. It was when you fell asleep on Leah's lap. Yeah, just like that. Wait, hang on, Puck! Don't just casually bring up something so embarrassing! You were the one who mentioned it in the first place. Sheesh, don't pin this on me. Anyway, there you have it, Leah. You shouldn't mull over Subaru's convulsive fits of crying or panicking. That worries me in a different way. <laughs> What's up, Melee? You say you're okay, but you're not being honest with me, are you, Subaru? If you ever feel like you can't take care of something by yourself, come talk to me. I'll let you off the hook if you at least promise me that. Got it. Sorry, Melee. Don't apologize. If you're going to say something, say thank you. I'll do my best to assist you regardless. Leah's a good girl. Don't make her worry so much, Subaru. Yeah, sorry. Puck, do you... The only thing I can perceive is a vague impression of how you're feeling. So while I can tell something's troubling you, that's about all I can piece together. Even if you asked me for help, I wouldn't know where to begin. Man, what an unreliable great spirit. How rude. If something ever happens to Leah, I'll show you just how reliable I can be. I'd rather not witness that. I won't let that happen a second time. That's why... Jeez, you all can be really stubborn sometimes. Dragon carriage in front of the gate. Ah, that's right. Oh, 
So this is your companion. How interesting. What did you tell him about me in such a short amount of time? Oh, Subaru. I didn't tell him anything weird. I just asked him to wait because my companion has been causing a delay moping about. Moping. There's no cause for concern. Even men like us need some time to brood. Thanks for the consolation. Melee, don't you have some business to tend to inside? Oh, um, yes, that's right. An emissary from the royal capital has visited us, but... Don't worry about me. I'll just wait out here with my best bud. Huh? Do you mean me? Oh, really? I thought you'd much rather want to tag along and listen in. Wait, you'd let me do that? This is serious business, so no. Also, you were just sulking, so... Melee, could you stop bringing that up, please? You make it sound like I'm some giant crybaby. Yes, yes. Just don't be rude to our guests, Subaru. Mealy, huh? What about it? You got a problem with that? No, I was just thinking of how casual you are with her with such informal name-calling. You may be Miss Amelia's associate, but you're not of noble birth, are you? And considering your conversation, you're likely aware of her position. That's why I thought it all to be rather amusing. Your role isn't much different. Don't stand there and tell me that you're not involved in the royal selection somehow. Uh, my, you don't beat around the bush, do you? What makes you think that? Well, it'd be strange to send along a messenger who isn't involved in some way. It's only natural I think you have a hand in all this. You've got a pretty good head on those shoulders, but what are you going to do knowing that? Will you strike down the messenger to weaken your enemy's forces? That'd be way too risky. Don't worry, I won't do something so rash to my best bud. I'm glad to hear it, my friend. Now that I think about it, I don't think my good friend has introduced himself. I'm Subaru Natsuki. You can just call me Subaru or Bestie or whatever. Best... what? Bestie. Where I'm from, it means we're good pals. Bestie, huh? Well, I suppose I'll call you that at some point. Anyway, I'm Tiga Raulian. As you surmised, I am part of the Royal Selection, having come here to shed some light regarding the matter. We are affiliates of the Transcendent Dragon Church. The higher-ups are pretty concerned about the proceedings of this Royal Selection. I see. Concern for Melty, huh? Hey, is something on your mind? No, it's all right. When the chips are down, I'll be sure to save you and all those you hold dear. That was way heavier than what I was expecting!
Mealy shouldn't go to the capital. Huh? Oh, this is quite sudden. Why are you suggesting that? It's an issue pertaining to the royal selection, so of course I have to go. I understand, Mili, I really do. But think about it. Postponing the royal selection is a big deal in itself, but rushing to the royal capital won't make a difference. If they were going to just tell us why it was postponed, the emissary would have done that already, seeing as they didn't. It's not something that can be explained so easily? Exactly. That means if we want to find out what's going on, we need to ask around and figure it out ourselves. But is that something you're good at, Mealy? To be honest, I don't get the impression that you're good at gathering intel. W well, I could ask the lesser spirits to direct me. If anyone finds out about Amelia, the chances of the witch cult making a move increases. Just a temporary measure. If we manage to delay the witch cult's response by a week or even a month, that changes how prepared we can get. Exposing the fake candidate, amassing allies to help fight against the witch cult. It's hard having to do all of this. Am I prepared? I have to do this. And, if Miss Amelia is not to go, what will we do then, Barusu? Good question. At times like these, it's crucial to scout and gather as much information in the beginning as possible. We can't overlook something so vital. So we'll need to send someone we can trust. I see. That does make sense. Then who do we send? Well, I was thinking we could send Ram and me to check on the situation at the Royal Capital. Hmm? I thought you said it should be someone trustworthy. Why are you nominating yourself, Barisu? It's been more than a month since we met! What's it gonna take to gain your trust? Do not make me laugh. She scoffed at me! I'm also opposed to it. Sending Rem is fine, but I don't think it's a good idea for you to go, Subaru. Even you don't trust me? It has nothing to do with that, Subaru. It's just... you were sulking earlier. Why are you still bringing that up? But that's not all. There's also... Miss Amelia, may I? Ren? I understand why you are so uneasy, Miss Amelia. However, knowing this, I believe Subaru should accompany me to the royal capital. Subaru needs to have Master Felix heal his body, after all. That 
that's true, but... There is no cause for concern. Rem will take responsibility for Subaru. Rem will also thoroughly investigate the reason for the Royal Selection's postponement. I assure you, this is not merely a chance to be alone with Subaru. I completely understand your point of view, Subaru. I myself had reservations about sending Miss Amelia to the royal capital so frivolously. If you two can fulfill this task yourselves, you may do so. I give you my blessing. Rem, I'll be counting on you. Yes, please leave it to your Rem. Don't do anything reckless, you two. And Rem, don't take your eyes off Subaru. Who knows what he'll get up to. Really? I'm not a little kid. Don't forget to bring some money with you. Make sure you don't lose your wallet. Also, if you ever get lost, look for a guard station and... I told you I'm not a kid! Somehow, I managed to keep Amelia at the manor. Keep that in mind and think. What's the correct move to make that will save everyone? It was the royal capital last time, and the manor before that. The witch cult must have changed their targets because Amelia was in those places. All I can do is test that theory. If they already know about Amelia, then all of this will be meaningless in the end anyway. If that turns out to be true, then we shouldn't hesitate to fend off the Dusk Bandits, at least to save us a future headache. No matter what though, we have to increase our forces to be prepared for when the Witch Cult strikes. Building up our relations with the other candidates went well last time too. This time, I'll have to talk to them without Amelia's help. This is gonna be really tough. Am I really that blind? This is beyond stupid of me. This isn't an issue of whether I can do something or not. I have to. There's something else, too. The issue with the imposter. You have been mumbling to yourself for hours, and it is annoying Betty to no end, I suppose. You barge in here in the middle of the night and start walking circles around me while muttering to yourself. Do you not realize what room you are in? What do you mean, Bayako? I know this is a library of sorts, but it's a good place to think things over since no one intrudes on this peaceful atmosphere. You! You are the intruder here, I suppose. Betty was enjoying the peace and quiet, and you ruined it, I suppose. Whoa, don't shout so loud this late at night. You're one restless drill, Loli, you know that? <sighs> I have nothing more to say to you. It has been too long since you were taught a painful lesson, I suppose. H hang on there, Beko. I admit I got a bit carried away, but I'm not just playing around here. 
I was taking this very seriously, even if I was messing around with you. Then consider this an admission of my annoyance! you off with that, I suppose. You would do well to learn something from this. D damn You don't pull any punches, as usual. It's like my entire skeleton was ripped out of my body. Wait, ripped out? Wolf attacked Rem, she said something similar. Nice one, Bayako! <laughs> Thanks to you, I solved one piece of the puzzle! You're the best! You told me before that not many people can use that technique. That was the biggest hint. I can finally see a light at the end of the tunnel! That's my Bayako! You're simply amazing! How to raise you to the heavens! Behave yourself, I suppose! <sighs> Good grief. This is no time to be joking around. Uh, Betty has been defiled, I suppose. I will have Bubby console me tomorrow. What a detestable man, I suppose. Hm. Hmm. I got some good sleep last night. My body hurts all over. I wonder why. Subaru? Whoa! Mili? What are you doing in my room so early in the morning? Um, Subaru, this isn't your room. You're in the hallway. Huh? You fell asleep out here, Subaru. Are you not feeling well? I'm really worried about you. Maybe you shouldn't go to the Royal Capital. Whoa, 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 hang on. There's nothing wrong with me. There's a really good explanation for this. Damn that Bayako. What a pain. Betty's concern, I suppose. Hello there, Subaru. I heard about what happened for Miss Amelia. Are you faring better? Yeah. Despite falling asleep in the hallway, I feel pretty great. I hope you'll give Bayako a good scolding for me later. If she's gonna knock me out like that, she should at least send me flying to my bed. I don't believe she would be so considerate, but I am glad to see you both getting along rather well. Beatrice always refuses to spend any time with me. You have been quite a help in that regard, Subaru. She's pretty easy to get along with, at least to me. I think she might agree if you went on the offensive. Beko's a big pushover, you see. Hmm, more aggressive. I will keep that in mind. You should. But anyway... I wanted to talk to you about something before I leave. I thought you might have something on your mind. You were objecting quite a bit the other day. There is a reason you wanted Miss Amelia to stay here, no? I'm glad you caught on to that. It's regarding the source of the information we received. 
I presume you speak of the coachman who is outside. There wasn't much time for you to speak with the emissary, but you seem to be hitting it off with that young man quite well. You're good. As you know, the envoy filled me in on a lot of things. For example, that one place, Leafhaus Plains, there are some bandits that have taken over the highway there. So you worried for Miss Amelia's safety and tried to stop her from going to the royal castle? My, so that is what love looks like. There's more to it than that. There's just so much that's off about this delay of the royal selection. Like why they're keeping it a secret. Like, I'd never leave my king on a chessboard so vulnerable when things smell so fishy. Or in Shogi, for that matter. Both your references go right over my head, I'm afraid. But I understand where you're coming from. So that's love. It's embarrassing when you keep saying it. I truly understand how you feel, Subaru. But do you have any other leads on retrieving information from the royal capital? That's the problem. That's exactly what I wanted to talk to you about, Roz. I'm going to change my impression a lot. Even if they don't shoo me away, I want to avoid getting into a situation where they won't even bother hearing me out. Hmm, and then? If possible, I'd like to request you pen a letter for me. A letter that proves I'm visiting them as a representative of you, Roswell. Or, rather, Amelia. That's quite the bold request. Subaru, do you understand what you are asking of me right now? My recognition of you acting as a delegate of Miss Amelia's, that isn't a small favor. I may not seem like it, but I am of rather high standing. You haven't been serving this manner for very long, and you expect me to grant you such a request? Moreover, how am I to know what you will say to the other candidates when you meet them? That's fair. I know doing so raises a few alarms, but don't forget, Rem will be with me. If I ever did anything out of line, Rem will definitely stop me. Aha! Uh -huh. You say the strangest things. Then are you telling me to place my trust in Rem and not you? I think that's better than me trying to convince you otherwise. So, will you? Of course. It's much easier to agree to your ostentatious demands in that case. Now then, here you are. What's this? A letter? It is the letter you so desperately pined for. It, what? You already wrote it out? Even though you were pushing against it this whole time? Miss Amelia and I will not be accompanying you. I thought you would need it, though I am still reluctant to give it to you in the first place. However, you took a great risk in suggesting it and trying to convince me otherwise. I hope you remain just as bold when conducting business in the royal capital. You got it. I hope you'll do your best to protect the manor too. Just like with the bandits, no one knows what'll happen. I know. I would never take your input so lightly.
Huh? I came to help load her luggage, but where's Rem? It's not like Rem to ever leave a job unfinished. Did something happen? Subaru, I apologize for abandoning my work. Oh, Rem, there you are. Why were you in the bushes? Well, I sensed something bad, so I went to investigate. Something bad? Yes. However, it may have just been my imagination. An ominous presence in the morning we depart for the royal capital. I just want to figure out what gave you that uneasy feeling and squash it. Rem, I think it's fine if we leave a little later than planned. Let's be as thorough as we can. Are you certain? It may interfere with our schedule, and it may just end up being nothing. If it turns out like that, then fine. I'd rather believe you and fail than not believe you and regret it. Subaru, um... Yes! Rem will do her best! Uh, oh? Alright then. Let's begin our search in the garden. I don't know what we're looking for exactly, but let's get this started. Yes, Subaru! Hey, Rem. Now, this is purely hypothetical, but let's say someone's lurking in the garden. Are you referring to that foreboding presence? Yeah. Anyway, back to the garden. If someone suspicious were hiding out there, where do you think they'd be? Hmm. If I were to hide in the garden, my first thought would be to hide in the shadows of the bushes. I see. The bushes. That's true. It'd be possible to hide among the thick vegetation. Hey, Ram Ram, there's something I wanted to ask you. I refuse, Barisu. Wait, hang on! I haven't even asked you yet! Oh, that is true. I merely reacted on reflex. But are you sure you are not wasting your time? The chances of me accepting your request are low, Barisu. I thought that might be the case. So, with that said... Rem? You handle dealing with Ram Ram. Very well. Sister, I have a request I would like to make of you. Of course, Ram. Anything I can do to help. J just like that? She hasn't even made a request yet! Yes, but Rem would never ask me for anything unreasonable. Now then, Subaru, please inform Sister of your request. Yeah, I got it. Wait, was this whole exchange even necessary? Of course it was, Barusu. I am listening to Rem's request. What's important is that this is not a request from you. All right. Well, if you'll help us out, it doesn't matter who makes the request. Anyway, Rom, getting back on track. I want you to help us search the garden. Search the garden? You do not need assistance to prepare for your departure? No. See, Rem sensed something troubling in the garden. I want to try to find out what it was. I see. It was faint, but it was a very foreboding presence. Hmm, that is quite concerning. Very well, Rem. I will help you with your search. All right, time to consult Bayako. Off I go. And that's what happened, Bayako. What exactly happened, I suppose? Betty does not understand what you are saying. Come on, don't make me repeat myself. Rem sensed something bad in the garden, so I want to find out what it was. But unfortunately, we don't have much time left before we leave. That's why I came to you for help. I want you to help Ram and Rem search around the garden, and let me know if you have any idea what that unpleasant presence might be. Why did you not start with that? 
no idea what you were talking about until just now. But we just get each other, don't we? You're supposed to know what I'm talking about before I even say anything. What are you going on about, I suppose? It is the exact opposite. No matter how many words come from your mouth, Betty will never understand you, I suppose. Oh, come on. Don't be like that. I know a lot's happened, but I thought we've been getting pretty close. If you keep treating me so coldly, I'll go crying to Mealy. I might just tell Puck that bayako has been bullying me. Bullying you? I resent that, I suppose. When did Betty ever... <laughs> Why are you crying, I suppose? Betty has done nothing to you. <laughs> I'm gonna tell Puck on you. <laughs> Fine. I will cooperate with you just this once, so cease your sobbing. Yes! You won't go back on your word, right? I am not happy about it, but I will help you this time. So, I know I asked this earlier, but do you have any idea what it was that Rem sensed? I'm thinking it's possible that it could have been a mob beast. If something like that just wandered in, the younger sister would not have responded so mildly as to say she felt something bad. True. I guess that makes me feel a little better. I would not be relieved just yet. Huh? Why is that? Whenever you make that face, it means you are about to stick your nose somewhere it does not belong, I suppose. You should mind your own business more, I suppose. Just for reference, what do you mean by the face I'm making? It is hard to describe. However, it gives me the impression that something is out of the ordinary, I suppose. Now then, how do I go about finding what Rem sensed? We don't have much time before we leave. We need to find the source of Rem's uneasy feeling as efficiently as possible. That is not something we can decide here. At the very least, not when you and Betty are the only ones present, I suppose. Good point. We should all think of a better way to search the garden. Well, I'm sorry, Beiko, but can you come with me to the entrance of the mansion? Rom and Rem are waiting. I will help you this time, I suppose. Beiko, Ram, Rem. I want to investigate the garden for anything suspicious. Speaking of which, Barusu, have you finished preparing for your departure? You are Barusu after all, so I figure you may have forgotten something important. Don't worry. All that's left now is to load up the dragon carriage. And since most of our things have been loaded on there already, we can leave at any time. Isn't that right, Rem? Yes. Our preparations are almost complete. Just as Subaru said, we are ready to depart at a moment's notice. In that case, you should hurry along to the royal capital, I suppose. The earlier you arrive, the better you can make use of your time there. Oh, don't be like that, Beiko. Once I get to the royal capital, we won't be able to see each other again for a while, you know? That is exactly what Betty wants, I suppose. Betty will be able to spend more time in peace and quiet without you around. Besides, what exactly is it that we are trying to find in the garden? You say you wish to search for whatever that unpleasant presence was, but that is too vague, I suppose. I apologize for causing you all this trouble because of what I sensed, Miss Beatrice. 
No, no, it's not your fault, Rem. In fact, I'm glad you sensed something was off. All right, everyone, listen up. Anything could happen. Delaying the royal selection is already a serious matter. On top of that, Melee being a royal candidate puts her in a position to be targeted by a whole bunch of people. If something feels even remotely worrying, I want to stamp it out immediately. I don't want to regret anything later, thinking, if only I did something back then. But as Miss Beatrice stated, we do not know what it is we are looking for. Without more concrete directions, we do not know what to do here. Yeah, I know. That's why I had everyone gather up like this. Right, Beiko? Why are you asking Betty that, I suppose? You're the one who said we should decide what to do after we all got together. Betty did say something to that effect, I suppose. But you are the one who will decide on the particulars. Tell us what you are thinking first, I suppose. I see. I guess you're right. I'm the one who put this all together, after all. All right, then. It's just a hunch, but I've got a pretty good idea of where we should focus on our search. That is good to hear. If you had not put any thought into this, Betty would have returned to the library without a second thought, I suppose. Whoa! Just like that? Good thing I gathered info before consulting you, Beiko! So then, Subaru... What is this location you are referring to? Rem would like to prioritize searching the area you believe to be most suspect. Now what? Hmm... I do have my suspicions of the garden. But is it really okay to just point to a location? Maybe we should discuss this more first. What are you talking about, I suppose? If you have some place in mind, you should tell us. True. But that's a lot to put on me, you know? Perhaps you are right, I suppose. But Betty wants to observe your resolve, having gotten all of us involved in this plan. I am disappointed in you, Barasu not being able to state what is so clearly on your mind. I'm sorry, Subaru. Rem didn't intend to trouble you. No, I'm the one at fault here. When the time called for it, I couldn't sort out my own thoughts. That is enough. Betty will abide by Betty's own judgment, I suppose. I will do the same, Barasu. Yeah, go ahead. Whatever it is could be lurking anywhere in the garden. I'm sorry I can't be of more help, but I'd appreciate it if everyone searches based on their own judgment. It's okay, Subaru. Rem will search diligently for the source of the ominous presence as well. Speaking of which, Barusu, what do you plan on doing? Do not tell me that you are merely going to sit around and twiddle your thumbs. Of course not! I'm gonna work as hard as anyone! But your work ethic is pathetic. You need to work at least two times harder than anyone else to have any effect. You're right, but still! I was just using a figure of speech! I'll work two times harder than anyone! Perhaps I was wrong. Three times harder might be necessary. Fine, okay! I'll work three times harder than everyone! I see, but you working so much harder than us is unrealistic. Even being on par with us is unlikely. Sorry, Rom. Forget about the whole multiplication thing. Anyway, I want to search the garden now. If you find something, no matter how trivial it may be, let me know. I'm counting on all of you. Beiko, Rom, Rem, let's get this investigation started. you are. Hey, Beiko. How's everything going? You look a little confused about where to look. Perhaps you are right, I suppose. We are only conducting our search based on a hunch, so 
so it is difficult knowing what to look for. If you could provide more explicit instructions, it would help Betty concentrate, I suppose. For now, why don't you look around the bushes over there to the left? It's possible that whatever it is Rem sensed didn't run off too far from where she originally looked. Fine, I suppose. You do have a point. Betty will begin her search by the bushes, I suppose. I discovered some traces of someone here. There is a good chance that someone was trespassing here in the garden. Perhaps someone was hiding here, I suppose. Betty can only assume as much. How's your search going, Ram Ram? Barisu, you think you are so high and mighty inquiring about my progress. Who do you think you are? That wasn't my intention. I just thought you'd need some help since we don't really know what we're looking for. True. You were quite vague, so it was somewhat perplexing. But it was something ominous that Rem sensed. I will be more than diligent in finding the cause of her worry. Nice one, Ram Ram. Looks like you don't need my help after all. I am curious what your definition of help is. But I do know for a fact that you are still a century off from being capable enough to assist me. Th that long? Yes, even though I am being generous, it would still take that long. Go easy on my frail heart. Now then, there is no need to worry about me. Leave me be and return to your post, Barasu. There are traces of someone lurking around here. I found some suspicious footprints. doubt that someone was hiding out here. It is obvious that someone was hiding here, I suppose. I have to find out why Rem sensed something so ominous. This spot is suspicious. I believe there was someone lurking around here. How are things going, Baiko? You came at the right time. There has been an update, so I was planning on telling you about it, I suppose. Wow, that's great! Let's hear it! Sorry, Baiko. You got a minute? What is the matter, I suppose? Oh, I was just thinking maybe we should change the location of our search. Do you think you could check out the right side of the garden near Rombeiko? Oh, fine. I will go to where the older maid is. Thanks, Beiko. Let me know if you find anything. Subaru! I found some rather suspicious footprints. Someone was most certainly hiding here. That is the only conclusion, I suppose.
Varusu, there are traces of someone lurking around here. These footprints. It would seem the younger maid truly said it's something after all, I suppose. This area looks suspicious. Let's check it out. It seems like someone was hiding here and left traces behind. It seems that presence I detected wasn't just my imagination. There is no doubt that someone was hiding here. That is the only conclusion, I suppose. It may only be something trivial, but I will report to you everything I find. Thanks, Rem. Keep up the good work. Hey, Rem. Sorry to interrupt your search, but you don't have to be so thorough. I'm sorry, Subaru. I just did not want to fail in the task he provided me. It's okay. I might be wrong anyway. You can speed things up a bit. Very well. I will keep that in mind. Varusu, I found obvious traces of someone lurking around here. I can say for certain that someone hid here. Sorry, Rem, but can we check somewhere else? Of course. I will do as you say. Just tell me where to look. Hmm. Is something the matter, Subaru? Where do you want me to search next? I was just thinking it over, but I can't... I see. Yeah. Very well. I will continue my search near the gazebo. Sorry, Rem, but can we- Of course. I will do as you say. Just tell me where to look. Let's see... Why don't you look over by the fountain? Yes, Subaru. I will continue my search over there. Suspicious. Let's check it out. Subaru, I found some footprints. How are things going, Baco? You came at the right time. There has been an update, so I was planning on telling you about it, I suppose. Wow, that's great! Let's hear it! I have a feeling I will soon find out who was hiding here. Rom, anything yet? Let me know what you find, no matter how insignificant it may be. I would ask you the same, Barusu. Have you found anything yourself? Of course I have. I'll fill you in, but you keep me updated on your progress too, okay? Of course. I can agree to that. I shall start. What's up, Rom Rom? If you are worried about me, Barusu, then you should not be. You are interfering with my search, so leave me be. Yeah, but you look a little troubled. I know we don't have much to go on, so if something's bothering you, will you let me know? 
Who do you think you are talking to, Barusu? I will not confess what is on my mind to the likes of you. Instead, you should be pouring your heart out to me. What? That was a quick turnaround! Naturally, Barusu. It is easy to turn the tables on someone at your level. Now then, there is no need to worry about me. You should just concentrate on your own task, Barusu. Whatever you say, Ram Ram. But are you sure you're okay? Yes, I was uncertain at first, but that feeling has passed. I will be fine, so concentrate on your own task, Barusu. Ram. That all depends on. Please! Very well, Barusu. We're. Let's see. Why don't you look over by the fountain? Why must I look around the fountain? It's pretty suspicious if you ask me. So, do you mind going over there? Are you please? Very well, Barusu. I suppose I'll indulge you. Subaru, it looks like someone passed by here. This place is suspicious too. Let me see if there's anything here. Rejoice, Barusu, for I have found traces of someone lurking around here. I'll get you. Just you wait. Obviously still fresh. I discovered some footprints, Barusu. It may only be something trivial, but I will report to you everything I find. Thanks, Rem. Keep up the good work. someone suspicious really super yeah seems like they didn't notice me either I need your help to capture them will you of course super what about sister and miss Beatrice if we go as a big group we'll definitely be noticed we should sneak up on them with as few of us as possible very well super Rem is honored to be chosen by you that's a bit much, but I'm counting on you. Yes, I will do my best for you, Subaru. Change of plans. It seems the target may not be accompanying them. Who the heck are you talking to? <sighs> I don't like the idea of you snooping around someone else's home. Oh, sorry about that. I just happened to find myself here while running an errand. Oh, really? Are you from Arlem Village? Yeah, that's right, so... That's odd. I know all the villagers' faces and names. But I don't recognize you. Sorry, but do you mind telling me who you are? I'll remember it for next time. <sighs> 
Rem! Yes, Subaru. <clears throat> Stop! I will not allow you to trespass any further. Rem! Don't chase to... Damn it, I can't catch up. I hope he isn't hiding anything up his sleeve. There! Rem! Subaru! I'm sorry. I failed. You failed? So he got away? It appears his escape was planned as well. He hid his presence and scent. If he manages to erase his footprints in the forest, then it would be dangerous to pursue him. You made the right call not to follow after him too far. He could be waiting for us with a trap set up. For now, we should just be happy we chased him away. Right. But he did break this before leaving. What's this? A mirror? Yes. This is known as a conference mirror. It is a Mitya that can speak to the owner of the conference mirror it is paired with. Unfortunately, since it is broken, we will not be able to know who the intruder was speaking with. Odds are, it must be someone related to everything going on. That guy from earlier must have been a spy or an undercover agent keeping an eye on the manor. We need to be more thorough in gathering intel. Now that I think about it, Emilia had her dragon insignia stolen while she was in the royal capital. So maybe her schedule while she was there got leaked. most likely possibility would be the witch cult. For now, we should give this mirror to Roswell. Letting him know about this should keep him on his guard. Very well. Let us inform him immediately. I have even less time than I thought to prepare. Barisu, do not cause any trouble for Ram. She has much to tend to. She does not have time to deal with you. I expect you to procure your own food. I'm not a baby! I can feed myself! It's not like we can keep it a secret forever. Hmm? Is there something on your mind again? Whoa, Mealy! Don't sneak up on me like that! Your adorable face really surprised me! Did I really surprise you that much? Then I'm sorry, I'll be more careful next time. But how would I do that? Even her breathing is cute. E.M.A. Emilia Major Angel. There you go, saying that weird stuff again. I saw you sneaking around with Ram earlier. If you hide things from me like that... I'm sorry, but hear me out. Everything I do is for your sake. I seriously think about what's best for you and do what I can for your sake. That I can assure you. Cross my heart. I'm happy you say that, but... Subaru, the dragon carriage is ready. We should depart now. See, Emily. We may be apart for a while, but just imagine I'm your pillow and hug it every night. Oh, Subaru? goes again. Subaru always treats me so well, but I haven't done anything for him in return. So why? <laughs> He's just Barisu. 
what does Rem see in him? That is something I will never understand. <laughs> Sorry, Rem. There's somewhere I want to stop before we get to the capital. Not a problem. The Leaf House planes are along the way. So we shall make our stop there before we continue to the royal capital. Subaru, are you sure we don't need to hurry to the royal capital? Oh, sorry, Rem. But there is something I need to check first. The timeline has shifted a bit. The location is still somewhere around here. Maybe it won't happen this time? when I had Ram and Ram scout out the highway beforehand. Is it because Emilia isn't with us? Talking to one of the Dusk Bandits? No way. I just don't understand this. They were attacking those traitors, so they couldn't have known we were heading toward them. The Dusk Bandits were pawns to gauge Amelia's fighting prowess? Was their objective to gauge how well Amelia can fight? I'm almost certain that spy is part of the witch cult. They're so meticulous. don't always go the way you hope them to. We only met last time because of the situation we were in. Never thought I'd actually be saying that I wanted to see those Dusk Bandits. Compared to the cultists, they're way better to deal with. Then again, they're all bad guys in the end. Ready to depart now, Subaru? Yeah, we're good. Let's make our way to the Royal Cap. How many times do I have to tell you? I don't remember making any promises to you a month back. I get that, but it just makes me so sad every time you say it. Huh? What do you mean? You've been here before. Sorry, didn't mean to make you feel bad. I've come here over ten times by now. But for you, this is only our second encounter. Then we're practically strangers. How am I supposed to recognize you? You 
heard him, Subaru. We shouldn't distract him from his work any further. I understand, Ram, but look around us. No one else even dares to come close to his stall. You can hardly call him busy. You little... Ooh. If you're just gonna screw around, then go somewhere else. I'm not screwing around. I'm here for a perfectly good reason, even if you don't remember. What do you keep going on about? What is it you want, anyway? I promised you I'd come back as a customer, so I'm here to buy some appas. No. Oh. So you really are a customer, eh? I thought you were just being a thorn in my side for no reason. <laughs> You're such a kidder. I'll have Rem here turn these appas into delicious baked snacks. So, give me ten of them. Also... Sure thing. Thanks for the business. What else did you want? Also, I want you to deliver a message to Old Man Rom. What? Huh? You know the old man? You don't have to be so suspicious. He helped me out one time while I was here in the capital. I wouldn't ask you to relay a message to him if I didn't know the guy beforehand, right? I guess so. Well, all right then. What do you want me to tell him? Reinhardt has what he's looking for. He should know what I mean. Amelia coming out on top with all that considered would be the best scenario. I'll take care of any problems that come our way. But for now... Subaru, I'm going to reserve an inn. What will you do? Let's see... I gotta go somewhere. So, I guess we'll part ways and... Very well. Then I shall accompany you. No, that wouldn't be efficient. We don't really need to stick together. No, I am going with you. I made a promise with Master Roswell and Miss Amelia. You're super assertive today. I guess it's okay then. Not like I have any reason to refuse. Okay then, let's go together. Great. So, where are we going? Uh, about that. I want to go to church and say a few prayers. This is the church. What did you say you needed from here? Well, actually, I'm not here to pray. I need to meet with the people inside. Now that I think about it, this will be my first time meeting Melty. Careful what I say in front of her. This is the first time we're meeting, after all. Is something the matter, Subaru? No, it's nothing. By the way, is this the church that worships the Holy Dragon? I'm not too familiar with this church, but I believe it is. Lagunica reveres the noble dragon lord Volcanica due to our covenant. This church was built to honor that. You mean like... This is how they express their thanks to the Holy Dragon? I believe so, though I am not too pious myself. Still, there are a lot of people around here who are.
taking that into consideration, I can understand why they like to cling to it so much. Maybe I should convert. I think that would be wonderful. The doors to the church are always open. Ah, that voice. Oh, I'm sorry to sneak up on you. I am a nun in this church. And you couldn't pass up the chance to recruit another potential parishioner, eh? That's right. I was only appointed here recently, so I'd like to get along with the citizens of the royal capital, but things don't often turn out as well as you hope. Oh, really? That's, uh, unexpected. If it's okay with you, can we talk inside? If you have the time to spare, that is. I don't mind one bit. Please, come in. Tiga! Tiga, are you there? Yes, yes, I'm right here. You sure came back in high spirits, Mel. Did something... Oh. Hey, bestie. You seem to be doing well. S Subaru? What are you doing here? Weren't you the one who told me you worked at this church? Since I came to the royal capital, I thought I'd pop by for a little visit. We only just met. What a quick reunion this is. Huh? Huh? You two already know each other? Yes, I am surprised as well. You are one of the messengers who came to the manor yesterday, right? Messenger. Oh! So you two are just like me! A royal candidate! Mel! Huh? Oh! A royal candidate? Then this nun is the last candidate to be revealed. Um, 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 um... Subaru and Rem, was it? Please don't misunderstand. There's a reason Mel is hiding her identity for the time being. And that's... Because the Council of Wise Men told her to keep quiet? Uh, that's right. You're a sharp one. It's pretty obvious once you think about it. Especially by process of elimination. I guess it's also possible that some higher up in the church would want you to keep quiet. a secret so you want me to lie for you is that it huh that wasn't my intention Subaru you should not tease the royal candidate like that we are here as representatives of Miss Amelia we must act accordingly yeah I know let's start over then shall we um start over my name is Subaru Natsuki and she's Rem. Ah. What's your name? I... Yes. I am Melty Pristis. It's so nice to meet you. Sheesh. You were really good at calming Mel down back there. Are you actually a ladies' man? <laughs> you think I'm a ladies' man? Don't be ridiculous. If I were good at dealing with women, I wouldn't be running so many circles around Neely. I haven't made any progress with her. It is true. Subaru is not at all a ladies' man. Rem finds that quite adorable. I can't deny that, even if it does sting a little. That's not really something to be proud of. But you two seem to hold a great deal of trust in one another. You must have a wonderful relationship. 
You're right about that. But it's more like how you and Tiga are so trusting of one another. I see. Of course, I'd appreciate it if Mel shared the sentiment. Oh no, you've got it all wrong. Tiga is only with me because we're childhood friends. Ah, childhood friends. I see now. So that's how you know each other. So, you've been connected at the hip since childhood, huh? You must have it pretty hard, Tiga. I'm glad you picked up on that. I've been struggling for many years now. I'd like my perseverance to be commended every now and then. Hmm? Before I go on, here's a gift. I thought it'd be rude if we showed up empty-handed. Wow, thank you. These apples look delicious. I'm sure that scary-looking shopkeeper would be happy to know how much you like these. I'll cut these up later and enjoy some with Tiga. If we had more time, I would have wanted to have Rem bake you something sweet instead. A dessert made from Appas. If you'd like, Rem can still fulfill your request, Subaru. Well, we can save that for another time. So, I hope you look forward to it. Wonderful! By the way, what did you want to speak to us about? You're being awfully friendly here. Are you plotting something? That's pretty rude. Melty was the one who exposed herself to us. I haven't done anything. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, Mel. Don't take it the wrong way. There really isn't any other way to put it. But I do hope you'll be more careful from here on out. That wasn't very consoling. Now then, Subaru. Master Tika seems to be wondering as well. But about the reason we came here. Since we're in town, I thought we'd say hi to a few of our acquaintances. But things are a little different now, knowing Melty's a royal candidate. Meaning... No need to worry. That just means we can be on friendlier terms with one another. Do you mean to say that Miss Amelia and I will be allies? I think that's a wonderful idea! Yeah, I agree. It's better to have more friends than enemies, after all. Words to live by. But you could also say that incompetent allies may be more harmful than a competent enemy. I don't doubt that. I want you to take a good hard look at me and judge that for yourself. I don't want to be seen as incompetent, but I wouldn't exactly say I'm all that competent either. I like to think I'm somewhere in the middle. I see. I understand. You seem like the hard-working type. You're already running all over the royal capital spreading around that idea. I wouldn't say it like that. Like I said earlier, I just want to have as many allies as possible, because you never know where enemies may be lurking. Danger can come at a moment's notice, whether it be political rivals, assassins, or even bandits. Bandits, huh? I completely agree! We should always help each other when we're in need. Exactly! If it ever came down to it, I'd like for you to help us out. That's why I'm bribing you with those appas. Uh, I just accepted a bribe?
You are quite late. I was worried something may have happened along the way. I am terribly sorry, Miss Cruchet. And unlike what was previously discussed... Miss Amelia isn't with Mew? And after Miss Cruchet took the time to meet Mew in person, that doesn't make Mew look too good, Mew now. I apologize once more. I'm the one at fault here, not Rem. I made a slate, and Amelia isn't here because of me. Hmm. From what I gather, you must be the one mentioned in the letter. I believe your name was... Subaru Natsuki. I'm sorry for being so disrespectful. Regarding your treatment, I have prepared for the best healing mage in the kingdom to look after you. As for the conditions of accepting the arrangement, we have already come to an agreement with Margrave Mathers. But there is still one issue to address. Don't worry, Cruce. I have a letter from Roswell explaining my role in this. Rem and I are official representatives of Amelia. I see. I will take a look. I must ask you one thing, Subaru Natsuki. Yes? It is true the Margrave wrote this letter expressing that you are his and Amelia's representatives. However, this letter is not but mere paper. You must keep in mind responsibility lies upon the one who bears it. Do you understand the meaning of this? Are you prepared to take on that weight? Uh. I am prepared. Hmm. You may not see it that way, but it's true. I'm ready. And I fully understand that my conviction can't be proven with that letter alone. I understand. I shall return this letter to you. I, too, recognize you and Rem as the Margrave's representatives. <sighs> Miss Cruchet, are you sure? I inquired about the strength of his resolve, and I am satisfied with his answer. Whether they can achieve any results is dependent on their actions and devotion to their cause. I thank you for your kindness, Miss Cruchet. Do not thank me. I will fulfill your requests. Please await a formal reply tomorrow. Well then, you heard, Miss Cruchet. Hey, Subaru. Huh? Don't harm me. Keeping quiet like that is rude, Mew you know. Why aren't Mew more excited or rubbing your head on the floor? Why would I rub my head on the floor? Anyway, I was just so surprised that I couldn't speak. Hmm. Your expression has changed. Now you look like a completely different person. Perhaps I misjudged you. W wait Crochet! You can't go back on your word now! 
I am merely joking. I sense a powerful, sincere wind emanating from you. Although, it is a precarious one. Hmm? Is that a poem or something? <laughs> Never mind that. Now, I cannot go into great detail regarding the letter, but since you're here, you may as well stay for dinner tonight. Since she was prepared to welcome Miss Amelia, it's a pretty nice setup. Yeah, sorry about that. Oh, right. This is my bribe. Please accept it.